Hello everybody, it's Game Pen and Caleb here, and I have another Bunny of Isaac run for you. Um, I didn't have any commentary while I was actually playing, so I'm just gonna narrate afterwards. Um, so yeah, start off pretty good, you know, not too tough a room, although kind of interesting to have that guy in here in the first room. I'm gonna get a heart which I can't quite use yet. I'm gonna pull that up so I can try and get a. Us. Oh, what's the name? It? Blue Heart, dear god, I can't remember the name of it. So hard, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, gonna have one of these guys, not too hard to take out. Get another heart, which I still can't use. Get a brother Bubby, <laughs> brother Bobby. Not too, uh, a bad of an item, actually. I, I quite like it. Some may not like it, but I think it's a pretty good item. So anyways, you might have saw that there's a sacrifice room over there, which I didn't go to, which I really should have, since I had spare hearts waiting anyways. It would have been smart, but, you know, whatever. Um, so Duke of the Fluff is not too hard of a boss, gonna try and take him out pretty quick. The flies are kind of irritating, but, I mean, not not too bad of a boss. Um, doing pretty well here. I'm not going to try and give out any spoilers of what happens, so uh, if you really want to know, I guess you can just fast forward to the end, but um, I'm really hoping that I make it this time. I have yet to beat the game, so, I mean, okay, Squeezy, pretty good item. I really like it. Except for, the funny thing is, once you start getting more items, the uh, eye effect like, goes away. But, you know, two still hearts, those are always, always wanted items. So I'm going to go and face this mini-boss, which is really not even a mini-boss at all. Even though I think later on in, like, Utero or something, they transform into a way harder boss. I don't know, I've yet to fa even face them. Let me get some of these uh, annoying abominations here. Not so much those ones, but the ones that run from you, like right there. I'll try and bank the shot, but it's not working, so I'm going to have to go in and after him. And take him out. So you're doing pretty good on not taking damage so far. Get a pill. Tears up. Pretty happy about that, you know. You never know with pills. Safety cap is always a good item to get if you... I mean... I, I, I guess you can't really control what you get, but still. I would like to have a safety cap. Very good item. It's just, when you get a bad pill, it's just really irritating. And you know, I sometimes get tons of bad pills in a row. So, I'm going to go down there, sacrifice room. I don't usually go to those unless I have an extra heart waiting around. And, right now I'm deciding whether or not I should face the boss. And I do, since I have full health. Widow, not too bad of a boss. Gets kind of annoying with his jumping around and whatnot. And also all the spider eggs yeah, he lays, you have to take out pretty fast. Or else spiders will become a big problem for you. Especially for me, if you saw my other playthroughs. Because spiders are pretty big scumbag. And taking some damage from him, very wide damage, some more damage, and some more damage. I would expect that a lot. <laughs> Hopefully I don't take any more from him during this room, because I really can't afford it. I'm already going to be losing my soul heart. Both of my soul hearts I had. Please don't take any damage from them. Thank you. Alright, so I'm going to destroy that devil room. And I get the box. Get... Two of hearts, the push pin, pretty good. You know, pretty happy about that. And a range down, like I was talking about those pills. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, I'm gonna go uh, check out the devil room real quick, see if I can get anything good. And uh, it's Guppy's paw in the pack. Both really good items. Guppy's paw can be quite dangerous though, and I really don't want to take the pack because I think it takes away two hearts. But then again, Guppy's Paw, if you take it, you're going to end up losing two hearts anyways. Just to even get any use out of it. So I decide to decline the deal with the devil. It's bitten me in the butt a couple times when I've taken it. So I decide to just go with my instinct and not do anything there. So I go off and go find the treasure room. And almost get hit by that stupid fire. I really don't like that fire. It's a troll. Anyways. Um, drops a heart, which I cannot use right now, so I go in the treasure room, and I get infestation. Not the best item, but also not the worst item. So, you know, I, it could have been worse. It could have been like chocolate milk or something, which has got to be one of my least favorite items. That is just a really not a good item. 
I mean, I, okay, I guess in some aspects, yes, chocolate milk could be an okay item. At, at best, mediocre. <laughs> but personally, I do not like it, because if it just completely takes away speed to your shots. Because you have, it's, you know, okay, well, I'm not going to rant about that right now. Anyways, so I'll continue on just checking all these rooms, see if I can find something good. Um, don't, oh, I have one key right now, but I don't want to use it on the shop, because I have three coins. Hoping to really unlock Kane on this run, which, um, and I guess we'll find out if I do. But, um, yeah, so, this room, it's not too hard. They don't, uh, <clears throat> that guy didn't give me. Make sure to take this guy out before he causes too much damage. Call them the walking butts. <laughs> I can't get those two bombs in the middle. X-ray vision! Pretty good item. I'm pretty happy about that. You know, the secret rooms can contain really good things, and plus they can be really good exits. Like if you can see the room and you're stuck in a room where there's a secret, and there's a secret passage where you can just escape real quick by going through there. So it's always a good thing to have. Um, taking out these stupid spiders, which I really hate. Uh, scumbag spiders. I hate them. And of course, another room of spiders. <laughs> Why not? Thank you, Troll Engine, very much. And of course, they just have to have those stupid, like, mommy spiders or something that hatch two more. Thankfully, I take no damage. You know, hey, if they give me a bomb to blow this thing up, I'm gonna go and use it. And... The tick. Man, I don't... I go ahead and take it, but, uh... Will I regret it? Who knows? Well, I do. But I'm not gonna give anything away. It, it, I like the item, personally, but... It can, it might screw you over because I mean, it you can't get anything else for the rest of the game. So yeah, <laughs> but then again, it takes off 15% of their health, and it's Peep, and uh, I can really use that on him because he's one of the most frustrating bosses by far, especially in the early game. Because I mean, you're not that powerful yet. I mean, you're not that weak. So if he's like the first boss you go after in the very first room. He's probably going to do some pretty good damage to you. But right now, he's not doing too bad against me. I'm taking him out pretty fast. I'm actually surprised I'm not taking more damage from him. Oh, well, there's some damage there. Hopefully, I can keep this last half of a soul heart. I doubt it, though. <laughs> so he's going down pretty fast. And, of course, he's going to jump away before I can finish him off. Do one more damage to me to take away my soul heart. And that'll be that. So he's down, happy that I got through that with not losing too much. I only lost my soul hearts, which are pretty good to have, but I mean, I still have full health, so it's always good. Secret room, uh, judgment right there, which I don't want to waste my bombs to get to him. Dime, nice, on my way to getting Kane there. So yeah, I'm not going to waste any bombs on getting the judgment, he's really not worth it. Especially since, like I said, I'm trying to get Kane. And he needs 55 pennies, and I don't want to waste any of my money on him. Because who knows with Judgment, you know, he can give you something really good, or completely screw you over. Like, no, no way, man. Alright, so I go through here, another secret room. And maybe it's a super secret room, who knows, we'll find out. Anyways, uh, so we got these maggots here. Some more of these really annoying things that run away from you. So I keep saying things, I don't know the names of these, of these mobs here. I'm gonna call this one Shy Guy. Well, he's annoying piece of crud. And stupid flies. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to go in on them. Take one of them out, possibly. There goes that one. Take out the flies he leaves behind. Take out this one, who's like glitching in the doorway of that secret passage. Take out stupid grandpa fly. I know, I know it's not actually a beard, but yeah, it just reminds me of a beard. And Guppy's paw, once again we meet. I'm gonna go ahead and take it, you know. Why not? It's free. And I automatically use one because I just got a health upgrade anyways. So what uh, is this an extra heart? Um, Guppy's paw can be a really good item, but can also really hurt you. Because, uh, <laughs> first time I got that item, I just kept spamming it. Because I didn't... I, I don't know how, don't even ask me how, but I didn't notice that I was losing hearts from it. I'm like, oh sweet, this item just keeps giving you soul hearts, and keeps giving you soul hearts, and I always my all my health. Yeah, I'm not the brightest person ever. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, that was the range down pill. Of course it is. 
I'm just glad that they tell you which one it is if you've already seen it before, because knowing me, I would probably derp it up and like take the range down pill at least five times. Taking some bad damage here from these stupid floating heads, but I take them out, and I'm still, I only took a heart and a half, which, eh, you know, it's moderate damage, but those floating heads are so annoying. Can't really blame me. Alright, so I get a Larry Jr. mini boss here, not too bad. I like Larry Jr. as a boss, you know, he's uh, not too tough, but he's also not like, the easiest boss, I suppose. I guess some would argue that Pin's the easiest boss, but to me, he's not. <laughs> I think, okay, to me, Larry Jr. is probably the easiest boss. Um, let's see, who's else? Actually, no, no, take that back, take that back. Monstro is a very easy boss, except for his upgraded one. That's just ridiculous. Oh, sorry, I took a drink of my water there. Alright, so yeah, I take out this Larry Jr. pretty easily. Didn't take, didn't lose any health there. Gonna take this puberty. Uh, not bad. I think. Don't quote me on this, but I believe that adds damage. Get soul heart, and I'm gonna go and get this chest. Why not? Thankfully, I don't mess it up and just blow up the rock. And it's two troll bombs. Definitely not worth it. But whatever. I don't use bombs that much, except for when there's soul hearts to get the blue rocks. And sometimes on bosses when it's possible. But, um. Yeah, so another Larry Jr. mini boss. Kind of strange. But okay with me. I mean. Pretty easy. So we're gonna take them out pretty fast. Hopefully, I don't take any damage here. Um, would not like that very much. So, yeah, there goes one half of them. And he takes away half a spirit heart before he goes. It's. Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's a spirit heart. Get a key, finally, I've been keyless for a while. And I'm going to go for the boss. Why not? Well, I still have moderate health. Check those piles, make sure there's nothing in them. And it's Chubb. Not too hard of a boss. His speed can get on my nerves. But, you know, other than that, he's not that, he's not that tough. You don't scare me. Uh-uh. Because I'm Isaac. And, oh, God. But the little maggots scare me somehow. <laughs> See, me and brother Bobby doing some pretty good damage to him. You know, Isaac may look like an abomination, but he's not faring too bad. And, uh, notice what I said about, uh, Mr. Squeezy. What? Mr. Squeezy. It's just Squeezy. <laughs> Wait, the Mr. Come. <laughs> you know, thing about Squeezy, how his eyes are back to normal now, and you can see X-ray vision. And I get deal with the angel. Scapular. I love that item. Because when you think all hope is lost, nope, you get a soul heart. So I get mom's coin purse, get some pills, and range down, of course. Health down! Well, our tide is lucky. Pills here. Tears up! Well, at least, at least I get it. <laughs> I think the health down is probably one of the most irritating pills in the game. And I go down, and thank the lord it is not Necropolis. Because that is just, ah, it's horrible. I'm gonna try and play this a little bit, you know, see if I can, uh, get anything good. But right now, it seems it's just giving me some, uh, advice here, or horoscopes, if you will. So I decide I'm just gonna destroy it. And I get a pill. I found pills. I don't, I don't know why they put that in the game. It, it literally does nothing. It just makes Isaac look like, look like a dangus. <laughs> I actually take a second to look up what that pill does. Not too long, though. I just uh, look it up in my hand dandy app on my phone, and it says, literally it does nothing except for change Isaac's appearance. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in this room, destroy that pretty quick, get that down, and I thought I actually had it, but I didn't. So I change targets real quick, make sure that thing doesn't fire at me, take that out, and take try and take that out, fires, it does not give me them. So no damage from that room, pretty good. These guys, Ah, oh, I hate these guys. Because if you don't kill their head, then they... I mean, I, the bodies are really easy to deal with, but the heads that come off and then fire things at you, not so much. They're really irritating. I'm going to try not to take any bad damage here. And dodge, dodge, and I did it! I did it! I'm the epic pro! Dodge! Master! Oh god. 
I hate. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just knocked off my headset. Don't even ask me how. Anyway, I hate those freaking turrets. It's so irritating. So, uh, not too difficult of a room right here. Just these guys will keep getting on and won't die. And then I guess the bees are kind of a problem. Got to make some good dodges on them. But um, yeah, they're not 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 too bad. I take I do take a half hard damage there. Get the belt speed up. You know, not the best thing to get. Would have liked to get some more damage maybe. But um, you know, speeds not, not a bad thing. At least it wasn't chocolate milk again. <laughs> Like I said, horrible item there. I'm trying to think of what else is a really bad item. Oh, kamikaze. What a scumbag item, man. That is horrible. First time I got that, it killed me instantly. It was horrible. I hate that thing. It's not even worth it either to lose the hearts. I, I can't remember. I think if it... You'd rather lose a heart and a half, or maybe it's just one heart. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but... It's just really not a good item. <laughs> I don't really know why it's in the game. That and, um, remote control bomb. The, uh, the, the detonator. There we go. The detonator. I just. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. I would have. There's a lot better items out there. So, yeah. There's chocolate milk, the detonator, and kamikaze. I've got to be the worst items. Kamikaze is definitely at the top, followed by chocolate milk, and then the detonator. There's probably worse items out there, but so far those are my personal picks. And I actually debate whether or not to go to the challenge room, but I decided to go against it. Probably for the best. Go in here, forever alone guy here, <laughs> collect his three coins, and go on my way. Uh, nothing too bad in there. I don't. Honestly, I don't know why I go in there. Maybe I thought there was another room up there, but I take half a hard damage. Get two of uh, that pill, I don't think it really did anything for me. So, I go in, and, uh, there's the boss room there. Just some flies, right? You know, uh, no big deal. You're not gonna take any damage from here. Yeah, well, you're wrong. Um, yeah. That's embarrassing. Wow. I cannot... <laughs> yeah, you know about flies? They're, they're, they're the new, uh, ultimate enemy, you know? They're horrible. They're just absolute abominations. So I go in here to try and get a heart, but of course it's locked, and I have no keys. I'm kind of surprised the amount of keys that I don't have. Anyways, I continue on to this room where I know there is a key, and I go through this whole entire maze uh, wrong way. And I go back up, and to the heart. So now I'm going to go and face this boss with two hearts. <laughs> but luckily I do have the two of hearts, which will grant me some health if I need it. Also, I have Guppy's paw, which will probably help me out. Gonna put out that fire. Ooh, see, it always pays off. Nibble. So I go in there. I I go in there. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. Honestly, I record. This, I just I don't know. I was going on recording spree, seeing if I got any interesting footage. Uh, excuse me. If I got any interesting footage here. So I wasn't commentating at all, but it was pretty late at night. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Monstro version 2. I don't know if that's actually his name. I didn't pay attention. But, yeah, he's pretty much the upgrade Monstro. That thing right there. If you, get hit by, if you get hit by that, it is very devastating. So I'm going to try my best to uh, beat him. But, uh, scapular. <laughs> Safety net there. And I it gives me time to use Guppy's paw in order to ensure my life. Which probably would have ended if I didn't have scapular. You know, uh, I'm very glad I picked up that Guppy's paw from that sacred room. Just series of events leading up to this has just been uh, all good. I guess not all good, because I did have that health down pill, which, uh, that sucked. I gotta say, it would have been really nice to have those extra soul parts instead of losing all that health. Instead of well, losing that one health, but one health in Body of Isaac is a really big deal. So far, I'm taking any damage from those stupid flies I'm putting out, but take a pretty big hit from there. So he's down, very happy, trying not to take any damage from these flies, which I do, of course. Health up, pretty good. I can use that for Guppy's paw later on. There's a heart there, which I will use to refill the half a heart. And there's really no need for me to con to continue down the rest of the floor. 
So I head down to the last floor, and thankfully again, it is not Necropolis. So happy at this point. Nickel. Really close to getting Kane on this run, actually. So, uh, yeah, put out the fire. See if I can get anything from there. And, uh, not too hard of a room right here. And right now, I'm thinking, wow, um, it's not looking too good to beat Mom. Still have yet to beat Mom. Unless I can get the Bible or something, there's practically not a real... I mean, I guess if I were really good at this game, which you all know that I'm not that great yet. So, <laughs> at this point, I'm hoping for a miracle in order to even have a fighting chance against Mom. So... Oh, yeah, with that lovely pill there, <laughs> they're obviously helping me a ton. I found pills, which gives me puberty, which I already had, so not really that big of a help there. Go over here, it's challenge room, not gonna do it, yeah, no thank you. Room full of zombies. Go ahead and uh, try and take them out pretty fast. Not too big of a challenge here. Gonna... Uh, just uh, run around and train them pretty much. Mm, yeah, these guys, you know, they're not too tough. They can get irritating if there's a ton of them and they just don't die. Another secret room over here. Really liking these x ray glasses, gotta say. They're really nice. Gonna put some change into this thing and I immediately get one of those. <laughs> Sorry about that if you hear that. <laughs> They got some uh, Skype messages. Okay, so I get the moon, which I, I don't really need. I mean, I'm already in the secret room. And I believe was... I think it was the little crystal ball that revealed the whole entire map, which is really nice, actually. Because now all they have to do is either decide to go to the item room first or just go straight to Mom, which... Um, I believe I'm just going to go straight to Mom, it's the way better option there. Because I don't want anything to happen along the way, that would really suck. I'm quite angry, so as soon as I run into these guys, I know I'm going to have a problem. Probably, yeah, I uh, used Guffy's paw there, probably should have waited until I actually lost all that heart, so I don't have to waste my soul heart, but, you know, whatever, it's already been done. These guys, they're uh, one of my least favorite mobs, I gotta say. Not the worst room, but pretty bad. So I get the Joker here. This could either make or break it here. Really good. And it's the Bible. Thank the Lord, literally. <laughs> the Bible. I could not be happier to get this item. Now all I have to do, it's pretty much a, a guaranteed win. All I have to do is get there though, and that's gonna be the hard part. I'm gonna be really happy if I can pull this off. And get to beat Isaac, like I said. So as soon as I get the Bible, my hope is like, completely restored. I'm in boss mode right now. Adrenaline pumping. Really trying not to die. Take no damage from that room. Carry on. Really glad I have that uh, whole entire thing reeled. And I'm like, you know what, forget this. I'm just going to skip this room because I don't want to die. And this room especially. I'm really glad I saved all those bombs. Because these guys are by far my worst enemy. And I take some damage from myself. <laughs> The only thing standing between me and beating Mom right now are these brain heads. And whatever that thing is with the Isaac. I don't know what that is. Getting really adrenaline filled right now. Kind of kind of nervous. I really don't want to lose. I mean, how horrible would that be to get this far? I actually paused it. I cut out where I paused it. Because I was getting kind of jumpy. My, I was like pressing keys I shouldn't have been. And I totally wasted the lover's card. No, not the heart's card. And, oh, I'm getting really nervous here, a scapular, saving my life here. Remember, I have no more guppies, Paul. So, uh, <laughs> this is my health. But yeah, I paused it, and then just relaxed for a few seconds, took a drink of water. Uh, yeah, kind of nerdy thing to say, but you know, hey, this is an exciting moment for me. And, uh, <laughs> getting really, uh, sick of this guy. Take him out. All faith is restored now. All is standing between me and them. Me and mom. And there's mom before I even get there. <laughs> use it as soon as I get it. Take another half hearted damage from that guy. And hopefully I can get this guy down. Ooh. Oh, Alright, he's down. And now I just take a moment to uh, realize that I've won. 
Where's my stats right there? Don't know why I paused it really, but yeah, get in there. Don't want to die immediately on Kate Bible. And boom, my very first Isaac win. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that, huh? So, uh, I didn't, <laughs> fortunately, I didn't get Kane in that one, but I'll set up unless you listen to it. Just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. So yeah, pretty cool. This is an amazing game. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, obviously I'm going to have to get continue on and try and uh, eventually beat Blue Baby, which, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a while. I barely killed... Mom, oh my, I, I, you have no idea how much rage would have been induced if I would have died in that last room. So by no means am I done with this series, I still have a lot more to go, plus a ton of tra challenge runs. Yeah, you can get some even, some different challenges in that, like maybe like preloaded challenges. But uh, anyways, really happy I finally beat that. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and watch the rest of the credits if you want, because I just recorded it all. Because, you know, first time beating Isaac, kind of wanted to record it all. So anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Leave a like if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. I mean, uh, yeah. So see you guys next time. Thanks.